Hello everyone and welcome back to Network 13. Um, everyone else on YouTube seems to be doing a mailbag segment as part of their uh, their channel, so I'm going to do one too. So here we go. We have four items today. Uh, looks like three of them are from the same vendor and a fourth one uh, is not. Purchase all of these items from eBay sellers, by the way. Let's start with the green bag first. Ah, there we go. Oh, by the way, this is from, this is from, you can see that, Chen Long, number 240, oh God, I can't pronounce this, forgive me, Huingping Highway, Minghang District, Shanghai. China and there's a phone number and this description says quantity one the circuit board value US dollars five total gross weight 0 0.1 kilos okay let's look inside and we have a smaller box here so we'll open up the box and inside we have a uh, USB cable and okay okay I know what this is inside some bubble wrap okay this is my my Spartan 6 FPGA board which is inside a static safe bag observe precautions for handling electrostatic sensitive devices okay very good get this open And what I have inside, let me get close in on that so you can see it. This is an, an FPGA um, development module. And this is a Xilinx Spartan 6 FPGA device in the center. There's also, that's probably a reset button. There's a uh, crystal, not a crystal, but a clock oscillator module, it looks like there. There's uh, another little IC here, which I can't really make out what it is. A couple more buttons here. There's a JTAG header. And over here we have some other headers for device pins. Ground, VN, ground 3.3 volts and your usual surface mount resistors caps SMLEDs looks like a fuse here and here is the USB connector and on the back we have looks like some uh, some caps here probably a couple of voltage regulators another IC here a few more SOTs here these look like some, maybe some resistor networks and caps and very good. All right, I just want to get a, try to get a close up of the actual FPGA chip here. Hopefully my camera locks in on that. A Xilinx Spartan 6. XC6 SLX9 and look at all the pins on that. There's so many pins. It's crazy. All right, so if you're not familiar with what an FPGA is, it's a field programmable gate array. This IC contains hardware like logic gates, flip flops, memory, uh, all the stuff you learn in digital class. Or, and what you can do with this is you can design a circuit. With software in some kind of a programming environment, you either design your circuit, you draw it in schematic form, or you use something called a hardware description language. And you can usually in the programming environment, you can simulate your circuit, you know, make sure it's going to perform the way you want it to perform, and then you can you upload it through the uh, you know through the, uh, the USB here. You'll upload it into the FPGA. And as long as the FPGA has, has power, it will make hardware connections to the gates and flip-flops and other circuit elements that you define. 
And this can become just about anything. You, you can, uh, I mean, for instance, you could probably reproduce all the hardware that's in, let's say, a Commodore 64 or an Apple II PC, or you could reproduce the hardware of a, an old arcade cabinet game, or I mean, just the sky's the limit with these things. There's so many, so much you can do with them. And I've been, I've been learning about these lately, reading up on them. It's something I wanted to get into. And I have to wait for one more piece, which is, there's a module that will allow my PC to talk to this, uh, this board. So we're waiting on that right now. That hasn't arrived yet. But let me just give credit where it's due. Okay, so I purchased this board from eBay seller EE Pizza. It's E-E-P-I-Z-Z-A, who is located in China. Okay, next. Ah. Next is... Ah, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Very nice. This is from... Uh, it, no, probably says underneath. It's going to cover it up by this postage label. Okay, it doesn't matter. These are... Actually, no, they... Oh, okay. Raspberry Pi, Arduino. Looking forward to serving you again. If there's some kind of a business card here. Uh, I can't pronounce that. LXYQ Industry. Here's their phone number. Here is an email address. Uh, let's see. Dear value customers, wish you are a favor of your item bought from us and look forward to serving you again. Since your feedback is very important to our business development, we sincerely invite you to leave positive feedback. Okay. Uh, if you are planning to give us a negative feedback, no, I'm, I'm not going to give you negative feedback. Of course I wouldn't do that. I'm an eBay seller myself. I would never do that unless you really, really deserved it. Okay, what these are, these are, and there are 40 here, or there should be 40. These are called DuPont jumpers, male-to-male -male jumpers. And what these do is what's a piece of ribbon cable and they have a uh, they're terminated in a plastic connector with a uh, a pin so what they're made for and I'll take one of them off and I'll show you is if you have a uh, if you have a uh, solderless breadboard you can plug these in and they, they fit in there rather nicely plug them in and make a connection. Um, what I've been doing is using, I uh, don't have one here available, but I've been using just regular copper hookup wire that I stripped for my, for my experimental uh, circuits here. But this is, this is much easier to work with. Um, so very good. That's very good. I'm uh, very happy with this. And I've got 40. I think I sh should have 40 here. And I'll just separate these later on and put them in a container. Okay, on to the next item. All right, who's next? Uh, I have a feeling this is from the same seller just because the package looks identical. And I did place an order for three items all on the same day. Yeah, I think it is. All right, so well, let's open this up see what this is. Oh, okay, we have another another one of these cards, which is good. Inside, oh yes, here we go. Here we go. This is a, okay, this is a, let me say exactly what it is, the proper name. Oh, let me get close, you can't see it. This is an ultrasonic module, it says. <laughs> Distance measuring transducer sensor for Arduino. So, okay, this is a... Uh, a little sonar system basically um, there's two little transducers here uh, imagine this would this would ping out some kind of a ultrasonic signal and then it would listen back for it to come back and depending on the time delay you can determine uh, distance you now on this board if you look close let me get some light on that if you look close 
DCC trigger echo and ground. There's a crystal there on this side. The other side has uh, it's got three ICs, some resistors and some caps. And how this works is, I'm not sure how this works. Uh, <laughs> let's see what it says in the in the, uh, in the item description. I mean, I basically know how it works. I'm trying to find out how you how you would communicate with it. If there's any information here. Uh, <laughs> trip pin, out pin, stable form, it's an accurate measurement. <laughs> okay, for some reason I thought this was a this was gonna be like a spy or an I2C interface, but maybe not. Maybe it's just an analog. Maybe it's just in a lot. I'll have to learn about this. But I mean, this is something I wanted. I wanted to get one of these for a long time. I mean, it just looks so cool, doesn't it? <laughs> something you'd put on the front of your little robot, your little robot kit. And this item is also from, of course, the same seller. Um, no, wait, no, sorry, it isn't. Hold on. Well, this is strange. This is one of the odd things you find on eBay. I mean, it's obviously from the same seller, but the seller name here is PIC Industry. P I oh, sorry, PLC Industry. PLC Dash Industry is the eBay seller. Although, oh yeah, it says that on the card too. PLC Industry. So this is all right. So we have obviously these cards are from the same uh, from the same business, but one of them says LXYQ Industry. This one's PLC Industry. They have the same phone number, however. Okay, hey, this is great. Look at this. Look at this. I have to do something with this. All right, next and final item for today is... Where is it? Look like that. Oh, here it is. Okay, okay. <laughs> same envelope again. Hmm. Open this up. This is uh, another static bag. Let's get that open. I think I can just, can I just tear it. Yeah, let's tear it. Okay, wow. Now, what the heck is this thing? It's got a battery holder. It's got a battery holder. And on the other side, there's an IC, two ICs. And it's got some telltale like signals, SDA, SCL, SQW, VCC ground, and one called 32K. And on this side, SCA, SCL, SDA, VCC ground. So what this is, is a, uh, get the proper description, DS, oh, sorry, I'm on a range, sorry, I'm on a camera. This is a DS3231, or ZSO42 or AT, oh, AT24C32 must be the processor. It's on there. Oh, I don't know. No, I'm, I'm at a loss now. Anyway, this is a, uh, it says I2C module, precision real time clock. Okay, so let's say you have a little Arduino circuit and you want a real time clock. A real-time clock that independent of your Arduino board, you want it to run all the time and maintain the proper time. And I don't know if this does a date too, but this runs off a coin cell on its own independently. And I would imagine that you can just interrogate it through the header with your I2C or whatever interface this is. And you can read back what the real-time clock, uh, the real-time time and the real-time date is off this module. Now, Back in the old, old days of PCs, um, <laughs> old PC motherboards used to have real-time clock thingies in them on the motherboard. I guess this is something very similar, although it's probably much more advanced than that. So, there we go. There's a little, little uh, mouth 
uh, <laughs> diode and surface mount parts, some caps. Might be some, again, some resistor networks, it looks like there. And that is our, our real-time clock. Now, let's see, did we have a, uh, did we have a card in this one? No, you know, we, I guess we didn't have a card in this one, but the seller, the seller is Industry 4.0-PPD. eBay seller Industry 4.0-PPD. I'm going to be, I'm going to be listing all of these eBay sellers in the, um, in the area below the video. So I'll, I'll be giving, uh, I'll be giving their eBay seller names. In case you want to look them up and see what they have for sale. Um, they do sell a lot of things. But uh, obviously this is from this. Obviously this is also from the same business. They all came in the same kind of envelope. Uh, and they all arrived on the same day. It's just, it's be very curious if they, if they weren't. And that's it for our mailbag segment. So today we have the... The Xilinx Spartan 6 FPGA board, we have the ultrasonic uh, distance measurer, we have the real-time clock, and we have the, the little jumper cables with the DuPont uh, connectors, or DuPont jumpers, I don't know what you call them. Okay, uh, if you like this video, please, by all means, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I've been getting thumbs downs from people, which is fine, I don't care. Uh, there's no such thing as bad press. <laughs> if you want to give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up, it all counts the same way in the YouTube algorithm, I'm sure. Attention is attention. Um, if you go through our back catalog of videos and you like what we're producing, please feel free to subscribe. I have approximately 135 or so subscribers as of today, and I want to thank each and every one of my subscribers. Um... Uh, if you want to contact me, you can write to network13.contact at gmail.com, network13.contact at gmail.com, or you can leave comments in the comment section below this video. Um, I always appreciate the comments. I, I get good comments and, and good good emails from people, people, uh, good words of encouragement and uh, ideas for videos and, and, and uh, even... Um, uh, you know, uh, suggestions on how to make the videos better, <laughs> which is good. You know, any any kind of criticism or, or constructive criticism is welcome, of course. Okay, uh, and with that, as always, I will say, thank you for watching. <laughs>